Alright guys, welcome to RC Mojo. Last time we fitted an engine to the Avacraft Mini Frantic. This time we need to run it in. The engine is extremely tight at TDC. It really screeches as it goes over the top. Not brilliant. But once we get it going it should cure itself after just a few minutes. I'm using an old Weaker's Water starter instead of my usual Sullivan Dynatron. It's a little safer as a new engine with an unknown needle setting can be prone to hydro locking. The Dynatron is quite capable of snapping the conrod. The old starter just stalls as it doesn't have enough torque. For fuel, I'm using Model Technics Formula Irvine Sport 5. 18% oil, 5% nitro and 77% methanol. Bang on what the manual wants. It's also got a nice colour so you can see the level in the tank. The tail of the fuzz is tethered to a stake. Well, okay, it's some string and a screwdriver stuck in the ground. But on a model this size, it'll hold it just fine. The main thing is, if something goes wrong and it throttles up, it can't go anywhere. Okay, so the tank's full. Radio's checked. Plug tightened. Glow lead attached, but not powered. We need to prime the engine. So with the carb blocked, turn the engine over by hand. With the carb face down, the fuel just drains straight out. So I'm going to flip the model up and give it a couple more turns to get some fuel into the crankcase. For safety, I'll take off my fleece with the floppy sleeves. Don't want to get that caught in the prop. The high speed needle was bottomed out from factory and the manual says it should be two to two and a half turns out. Hopefully it'll be somewhere near. Right, the engine's all ready to fire up. The glow plug's powered. Let's give it a go. Yeah, he's going. Okay, so it ran through the fuel we got into the crankcase, then stopped. This would suggest the engine isn't able to draw in fuel. But it did run, so we should be on to a good one. So what we have now is a couple of minutes trying to get the engine to draw fuel when running. One highlight is the prop coming off. It tends to happen if the engine is flooded and backfires. The crack will loosen the nut and the starter will unscrew it. This is exactly why I always wear a pair of glasses when starting engines. A long time ago I got a good smack in the eye with a prop, which wasn't a lot of fun. Anyway, not long after I got the engine to run. Yay! Just listen to that engine struggle to burn all the fuel we're giving it. <laughs> the needle ended up way out, nearly three and a half turns. This isn't of course the final setting. The balance at this stage is between keeping the engine nice and warm and having loads of fuel and therefore oil running through the engine. It ran like this for about eight minutes before it ran out of fuel. You can hear it lean out just before. Nice. First tank through. Now it needs to be left for a couple of minutes to cool off. No prizes for guessing what comes next. We can pump in some more fuel, start it up and go again. This time I'll lean the mix just a little bit as it's going through fuel like it's water. Going to skip ahead as watching an engine for 10 minutes isn't the best footage. And let's try letting it idle. Not bad at all. Okay, we'll let it cool off again. And fuel up and now we should find it will start up almost right away. Nice. After 15 minutes or so of running, it should be fine to lean it off a little bit more. We still want a nice burble, nice and rich. Then of course, let it run for another 10 minutes. And while it's doing that, let's have a closer look at the model. If we go around to the tail, you can see a little issue that comes with glow over electric. Due to the vibration, the fin is having a little bit of trouble. It doesn't show up too badly in the video, but it really goes for it when it hits resonance. I'll probably put on some carbon flying wires to support it, as that really wouldn't be a good one to lose in flight. <laughs> Inside the fuzz you can see the rudder servo at the back, closed loop of course, the elevator servo on one side, and the throttle on the other. Pretty basic stuff, but it works just fine. So I'm going to let the engine run the tank out, fuel up, and I'll bring you back once the engine is set in a rough tune. Right. First thing of note, the low speed needle was miles out. I set the high speed needle at full throttle for a rich but smooth running engine. 
Then, when backing the throttle off, it would flood bog down at around one third throttle. This meant the low speed needle was rich. Turns out it was around three quarters of a turn rich. And for the low speed needle, that's an awful long way off. Anyway, the engine is still, of course, running nice and rich, but let's see what it sounds like. Sounds pretty sweet, I think. Now it just needs to be flown for another couple of tanks at a rich setting, and we're good to go. Not bad for a 45 quid engine. The throttle cut needs a tweak as well. Even with the throttle up against the stop screw, the engine still keeps going. Good sign for the engine, but the vibration really isn't doing the fin any good. Right, that's your lot. Thanks for watching. As always, a like is always greatly appreciated. And don't forget, you can subscribe so you know when there's a new video. It is free after all. <laughs> Bye guys.